So a specimen of copper of original length 300 millimetres is elastically deformed with an engineering stress of 276 megapascals. What is the extension of the material? So I think the first thing to do is probably just to jot down all the information that you're given. So we've got that uh, Young's modulus is 110 gigapascals. The original length, which is LO, is 305 millimetres. It's being elastically deformed. We'll come to that in a second. We've got a stress of 276. And we're asked to find the extension. So that's like the change in length of the material. So the first thing to do is probably to, to figure out a path um, forward. So if you're looking for the change in length of something, that's related to the, to the strain, sorry. So the strain in your material is equal to the change in length divided by the original length. Now we have this information, but we don't have what the strain actually is. And the way that we're going to be able to get that is we know Young's modulus and we know the stress, and we also know that it's elastically deformed. So that means we're in the elastic region of our stress-strain curve where this relationship exists between stress and strain. Okay, it's related by Young's modulus. So if we were to draw our diagram, we know it's a straight line relationship where the gradient of this line is E. So that's going to be our path um, to solving the question. First, I'm going to use this equation in order to find the strain, and then I'll go back and use this equation to find the change in length. So let's start with this one. So we have a stress of 276 megapascals. And we want to find the strain that this corresponds to. Um, we can pick any two points on our curve. The other natural point to pick is the point 0, 0, since it always starts there. So substituting into this, Young's modulus is 110 gigapascals. Now just watch out the units. You probably want both Young's modulus and the stress to be in the same units. So to achieve that, I'm going to convert gigapascals into megapascals, which is the same as by 10 to the 3. All right, the other option you have um, is converting everything back to base units. So if you convert this both back to pascals, it would do the same thing. So that's E. The change in stress between my two points on the curve is going to be 276 minus 0. So you can pretty much drop the 0. And the change in strain between my two points here is uh, this minus 0. So if you rearrange, it comes to that for the strain. So now we can go and um, rearrange this equation for the change in length. So it's going to be equal to the strain times the original length. Substituting in, the original length we were given is 305 millimeters. So that's going to leave us with a change in length of about 0 0.765. And because this is in millimeters and strain is unitless, it's going to leave our final answer in millimeters as well. So if we go and have a look, the answers that we have to choose from are all in millimetres, so we don't need to perform any further conversions. And it's closest to this one here, which is A, so that's going to be the final answer.